Yo, welcome back to my channel, ACG Gang. Y'all saw that thumbnail, y'all saw that title. Today, we are going to be making a Master Taylor bow, man. Yeah, y'all remember those Master Taylor bows from KFC? They used to taste so good. Now, I'm about to teach y'all how to make your own. Well, um, some simple ingredients. So, enough of the talking. Let's get to cooking. Okay, okay, the stuff you're going to need for this um, Master Taylor bows is some, um, some um, chicken breast tenderloins. I'm not using this whole pot. I use my, like maybe five or six um, chicken tenders out of here. Um, your seasonings. I got some onion powder, garlic powder, some smoked paprika, black pepper. Got my all-purpose flowers. We got buttermilk. And I'm gonna be doing instant mashed potatoes. We're gonna keep it amateur. Using instant, um, instant mashed potatoes and a can of corn and two eggs. So let's all um, let's all get the chicken together. Okay, guys, I'm about to about to go ahead and um, let this sit, let the chicken marinate. So first thing you want to do, get your buttermilk. Then get two eggs. So that's my mother. She watches TV. You crack your eggs in there. You go ahead and whisk all this together. Next, you're going to get your onion powder. Garlic powder. Some smoked paprika. And some of this stuff that I can't tell y'all is a secret. My mom and my wife would kill me if I tell you. I'm gonna go ahead and mix all that up together. Mix all that up together. After that mix, go ahead and get your chicken tenders. I got about five, I already rinsed them off. I'm clean my chicken already. And that's it. We want to let it marinate for about 15 minutes. So give me a sec. I'll be, I'll be right back and I'll show you how to make this gravy for the mashed potato bowl. Okay, guys, the chicken's still marinating. So while that doing that for your mashed potato bowl, let's make this gravy. First thing you would need is. A half a stick of butter, unsalted. Go ahead and put that in your pan first. I'm gonna go ahead and let that melt down. So let's give it a second. Okay, guys, now I have the butter melt. I'm gonna use, you don't get yourself a, a tablespoon, you don't get ta four tablespoons of flour. But I'm using my mom's seasoning flour, so for tea, for those who don't know, she sell, um, she sell flour and see red original season flour and spicy season flour. I'll leave her red, the link to the website in the description below. So I'm gonna take four tablespoons of this season flour. One, two, three. And four, four. And you can season your own flour for your gravy. You don't have to um, you don't have to use this, but I'm using my mom's seasoned flour. Her flour tastes great. You know, let put the stove on kind of low. Let all this this melt to end together for about a minute. Oh, this count to sixty. It's almost done. I'm gonna keep stirring it. Look at that. Flour gonna taste good. <laughs> I said flour gonna taste good. Um, this gravy gonna taste good for your mashed potato bowl. Gonna make sure all this melt melts down. Then after you do this, you're gonna use one cup of water. All chicken broth. I'm gonna use one cup of chicken broth. 
Huh? Getting tongue tied today. I'm gonna use one cup of chicken broth. This gonna be the best mashed potato bowl you ever had. I'm telling you. Gonna taste even better than KFC. Everything you make tastes better when you do it yourself. Okay, it's been about a minute now. Now here go a half a cup. I can't find my one cup. Half a cup of chicken broth. Yeah. One more. Get a whole cup. Let's add that in there. Make sure you have your stove on medium low. See how it thickens up. And there you go. You made gravy. And this is my first time making gravy. <laughs> Really simple, really easy when you follow directions. That gravy nice and thick. Look at that. Got that nice brown color too, it smells good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and push it to the side. I'm gonna get this oil ready because the chicken should be about done mar marinating for the on my shoulder bone. So I'll be back. Okay, ACG game. The chicken is done marinating for this mashed potato bowl. So the first thing you wanna do is some cornstarch. Taste your seasoning on the chicken for this mashed potato bowl. Right. A little bit, that's not enough right there. Right to the side. Then, don't hit it with the same seasoning combo. combo. On the seasoning, seasoning right there. Some onion powder. Some garlic powder. Some of this paprika, smoked paprika. You wanna hit it with this black pepper. Side, come on, too slow. Then you go ahead and mix it all together. You can go ahead and use your hands. This my chicken. And I might eat this, but me. Yo, and that on in the gravy, it was too thick. So we add two cups of gravy. To the four tea to the four tablespoons and a half a stick of butter. So you add two cups of um, chicken broth to the gravy instead of just um one cup. And if you're using water, um do the same. Good, you don't want your gravy to be too thick. Unless you like it like that. Not everybody like their food is different. No judging, like my mom said. Your kitchen your way, my kitchen, my way. And a little bit more of that secret season. And there you go, your flower show like this. It look good. Don't be scared to taste it. That's good. Now give me a second, I'll let this oil get hot. It's almost hot. And then we'll be back to fry the chicken. Okay, ACG gang, I'm back. This oil should be nice and hot. Let's check it real quick. Take something water. Yep, that oil nice and hot. 
So what we're gonna do is now start dropping this chicken for your mashed potato bowls. Go ahead, got my first one right here. Make sure the flowers stick to it nice and good. You want some nice crispy chicken from your mashed potato bowl. Go ahead, drop it in nice and slow. But if you want to also you can uh, you can double batter double batter double batter you can um take out your buttermilk take your flour dip it back in your buttermilk and then dip it back in your flour if you want your chicken really crispy but that's just a tip I'm not doing that today and the chicken tenders gonna cook for about 15 minutes the you know, chicken tenders is different the meat thicker. So you want to make sure the whole thing can cook through all the way. Also, too, I'm not getting on like a real deep um, fry, almost borderline um, shadow fry. fry. Okay guys, time to go ahead and flip your chicken over. See how crispy the chicken is? Almost done. Put the back on over here. Okay. And you know, just keep an eye on it. You want to be nice and crispy and go to brown. You don't want to burn it. So I got got like another nine, ten minutes, and they be done. Okay, ACG gang, I'm back. Look at that chicken. Perfect. Nice and golden. Not too dark, not too light. Try it. I'm putting it on a strainer. Let it cool off for a little bit, and then we're going to cut it and put it on my potato bowls. But before all that, let's get to um, make these mashed potatoes. I'm going to show y'all a real easy, simple way to do it. So, I'll be back. That chicken look amazing. Okay, gang, I'm back. Now, you're going to go ahead and get some whole milk. And you're going to put two cups of milk in this bowl and this is a half a cup so I gotta pour it four times and there you go that's um two cups of milk right there now we're going to pop this in the microwave for about two minutes. And then when it come out, we're going to pour in our mashed potatoes. Okay, guys. Now that our milk is done for our mashed potatoes, you're going to go ahead. Get your bag of butter, of butter mashed potatoes. Uh, butter and herb. Pour it in. There, pour the whole bag in. Just whisk it. Got to do it while that milk hot. You imagine they don't thicken right up. You see that? And booyah, just like that. <laughs> you got some mashed potatoes. I know this is the lazy way, but hey, it's still gonna taste good. 
And they smell amazing too. Now we're gonna move this to the side. And let's get to cutting out this chicken. Okay, ACG gang, I'm back. I got my bowl. You don't grab the mashed potatoes you just made. I added a little bit more milk to it. So if it's too thick for you, you want a little bit more creamy and mash, you can add like a half a cup, another half a cup of milk. And throw it right back in the microwave for two minutes. So first you add your mash. Then, I'm going to go ahead and add your corn. Sorry, I had to grab something. <laughs> add your corn. Then, add your chicken. I think I made too, many, too much chicken, but I got enough for another bowl for somebody else to eat. But this is about to be my dinner. And one more piece. I want all the chicken. <laughs> there you go. Next, you're going to go ahead and add your gravy. This is how the gravy should look. After you add another cup of water or another cup of chicken broth. The gravy should look just like this. You're going to pour it on top of the chicken. Next, you add your cheese. I'm gonna be adding some Mexican cheese. You get any kind of cheese except, except on mozzarella. But hey, if you want to, go for it. I know how it's gonna taste, but your preference. That cheese gonna melt because that gravy nice and hot. A little bit more. And there you have it. Mashed potato bowl, guys. So, if you like what you saw today, don't forget to like my channel. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that sub button. I want everybody to hit the notification bell so y'all be the first ones to know what well, Amateur Cooking Guy, ACG, has a new video out. And also, the link to my mom's store for all her products is going to be in the description below. So, until next time, we out of here. Money shot.